Hi everyone, welcome to First Chapter Friday. I'm Miss Kate, and today I want to read you a little bit of Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. This is such a good book about a boy, a girl named Min Lee, and um, her family is very poor, and she wants to help her family find their fortune. So she goes on this journey where she meets a lot of other characters on the way. But before she leaves, her father tells her all these stories every night. And the part I'm going to read you is one of the stories her father is telling her. It's called The Story of Fruitless Mountain. Once when there were no rivers on the earth, the jade dragon was in charge of clouds. She decided when and where the clouds would rain upon the land and when they would stop. She was very proud of her power and of the reverence the people of earth paid her. Jade dragon had four dragon children, pearl, yellow, long, and black. They were large and strong and good and kind. They helped jade, jade dragon with her work and whenever they flew in the sky, she was overwhelmed with love and pride. However, one day, as Jade Dragon ended the rain and moved the clouds away from the land, she overheard some villagers' conversation. Ah, thank goodness the rain is gone, one man said. Yes, another said. I'm so tired of the rain. I'm glad the clouds are gone and the sun is finally shining. Those words filled Jade Dragon with anger. Tired of rain, glad the clouds were gone. Jade Dragon was indignant. How dare the villagers dishonor her that way? Jade Dragon was so offended that she decided that she would never let it rain again. The people can enjoy the sun forever, Jade Dragon thought resentfully. Of course, that meant despair for the people on earth. As the sun beat overhead and the rain never came, drought and famine spread over the land. Animals and trees withered and died, and the people begged for rain, but Jade Dragon ignored them. But their suffering did not go unnoticed by Jade Dragon's children. They were horrified at the anguish and misery on earth. One by one, they went to their mother and pleaded forgiveness for the humans, but even their words did not soften their mother's cold heart. We will never make it rain for the people again, Jade Dragon bowed. Pearl, yellow, long, and black met in secret. We must do something to help the people, Black said. If they do not get water soon, they will all die. Yes, Yellow said, but what can we do? We cannot make it rain. We cannot dishonor mother with disobedience. Long looked down at the earth. I will sacrifice myself for the people of earth, he said. I will lie on the land and transform myself into water for them to drink. The others looked at him in astonishment, but one by one they nodded. I will do the same, Yellow said. As will we, Pearl and Black said. So Jade Dragon's children went down to earth and turned themselves into water, saving the people on the earth. They became the four great rivers of the land, stopping the drought and death of all those on earth. But when Jade Dragon saw what her children had done, she cursed herself for her pride. No longer would her dragon children fly in the air with her or call her mother. Her heart broke in grief and sadness. She fell from the sky and turned herself into the Jade River in hopes that she could somehow be reunited with her children. Fruitless Mountain is the broken heart of Jade Dragon. Nothing grows or lives on the mountain. The land around it is hard and the water of the river is dark because Jade Dragon's sad spirit is still there. Until Jade Dragon is no longer lonely and is reunited with at least one of her children, Fruitless Mountain will remain bare. So that's the first part of Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. And if you want to uh, read more about Minley's journey, uh, be sure to check it out. Thank you.